as the title is having the three terms independent uncorrelated orthogonal with respect to the random variables so of course with the random variables these are certain special informations we shall first of all confine to the first one that is independent random variables here many a times we come across various applications and in those applications if more than one random variables are there in the previous video where we have learned the joint moments the jointly distributed random variables we have considered the certain statistical dependency between the random variables you can recall the experiment where the three coins were flipped at a time from which the first coin was a pair and the next two coins were unfair coins so the pair coins we have treated to equally result into the number of heads and number of tails whereas the unfair coins are not the same so either they will be likely to result more times with heads or more times with the tails so that was the experiment that we have dealt into the previous video so among such examples if we don't find any kind of dependency so that time the random variables having no connection of value of one random variable with that of the another one we can call them to be the independent one for better understanding of the concept an example can be cited from the textbook where we can have the assignment of a random variable 1 that usually we denote by x of 1 to the number of sun spots that occur on the last day of the year and similarly if we take another random variable that usually we denote by x of 2 and assign it to the value of amount of us national debt in the same day though these two things are occurring on to the same day but they don't have any relation any connection among themselves hence the value of random variable x1 will not be affected because of the changes or the results that we obtain for the random variable x2 or vice versa hence we can call them to be the independent random variables so this is the theoretical understanding how the random variables can be independent and for proving the independency of the random variables we can take the help of functions that we have defined with respect to the random variable x so thereupon we have defined the first function to be the probability distribution function and next to that the probability density function we have derived by taking the derivation of the probability distribution function so mathematically we can call the two random variables in general denoted by x and y here to be the statistically independent if there upon we have the joint probability density function very very separable here so in general the joint probability density function density function we denote by the letter small f here to the suffix we mention the random variables in the process so here we are having x and y hence we can denote it by small f suffix x comma y as a function of here we have alpha comma beta to be the independent here f of x f suffix x as a function of alpha and f suffix y as a function of beta so here for the random variable x it is a function of alpha it is totally independent here for the random variable y it is a function of beta it is also totally independent there is no relation between the alpha and beta in the previous videos when we have defined the joint probability distribution as well as the density function the individual and the independent variable was only the alpha either sometimes we have also taken the thresholds alpha 1 and alpha 2 to show the lower and the higher threshold values here here we take alpha and beta so this can be the mathematical way of proving the two random variables to be totally statistically independent so out of the three terms that we are going to deal in this video independent uncorrelated and orthogonal random variables 
the first term i hope it is clear now we shall switch to the second one the second one is the uncorrelated random variables so for the random variables we have to take into again x and y in the use here as for the joint cases we have the ensemble averages calculated with the help of the expected value which we call as mean also the correlation and covariance into the use also so as we know that the correlation and covariance are the second order moments here just now we have completed into the previous video so when the joint second order moment that can be denoted as expected value of x multiplied to the complex conjugate of y so this we have dealt into the previous video when this definition is having the separability in it so which can be mathematically represented as the expected value of x multiplied to y conjugate is equal to expected value of x individually multiplied to the expected value of y conjugate here so here we can separate out the two that have been multiplied here so this is the first one separated from second one the separation we call because into the first term there is no role of y and into the second term that has been multiplied to the first there is no role of x hence we can call them to be the separable here in another way we can also take the definition of uncorrelationness in terms of the correlation function so that can be represented r in the suffix x comma y so when it is obtained to be mx multiplied to the complex conjugate of my where the mx and my have the usual meanings from the previous video so mx is the expected value of random variable x only and my is the expected value of random variable y only so in these cases the two random variables are said to be uncorrelated so as in this particular case we have taken the formulation of joint moment co relation here correlation the covariance can also be taken into the help and this can be given mathematically in terms of c suffix x comma y to represent the covariance between the random variables x comma y that can be obtained by the correlation that is r suffix x comma y minus the multiplication of mx into the complex conjugate of my here so here the two random variables x and y will be uncorrelated if their covariance is zero so when we find the covariance value equal to zero so we can call them to be uncorrelated so here we are finished understanding the two concepts out of the three terms in the title here with respect to the second concept we have one property also that property is with respect to the variance and the summation of the uncorrelated random variables which is equal to the summation of the individual variances here the mathematical representation can be made here where the left hand side we have the calculation of variance for the summation of x and y here so first of all the summation is performed here and then the variance is calculated here whereas on to the right hand side we individually calculate the variance of x and individually calculate the variance of y here then we add the two so when both these rhs and that of the lhs can be found same so that time we can say that these two random variables are totally uncorrelated to one another so after these two concepts of independent random variables and uncorrelated random variables we must focus to the last one that is orthogonal random variables so as like the independency there it is the orthogonality and it is quite related to the previous concept of uncorrelationness also so we call it to be a property related to the uncorrelatedness 
so here again to explain we take the help of two random variables x comma y here so they are said to be orthogonal if their correlation is zero as the previous case and here mathematically we represent r sub x x comma y to be equal to zero here it is quite important to note that although the orthogonal random variables need not necessarily be uncorrelated zero mean random variables that are uncorrelated will always be the orthogonal ones here so this was all about the independentness uncorrelatedness and orthogonality into the random the orthogonality concept is very very important into the mathematics point of view because of the orthogonality only there are the base functions that we can use into the mathematics and express many of the complex things with the help of certain mathematical tools here